Hey everyone, Chrissy here and in today's video I will be showing you another famous project of Python. So this one is the Facebook project and it is also asked during interviews. So you might be knowing how important the Facebook project is. So yeah, let us start with today's video. So guys, uh, actually let me just, uh, you know, tell you some important points. Actually, uh, in this project, we use the two words, which is fizz and buzz. But in the version of solo learn, we have to use solo and learn, which is not a big deal. Just have to change the little wording system. And it takes in and output. So you can see that this line tells us that we have to use the range in it. Now, if you know what a range is, the range is like, you know, we have to, you know, we have to determine a particular group and out of that group itself, the answers or the print, the output comes. So you can just read all this info and uh, yeah, let's start. Let's start right here. First, we are going to take the input, which is so, 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 so important because without this, the thing is not good. Now we have used I and T because we have to take a numeral input. So we have to use I and T. And guys, we are also going to use the if and else statements. If you don't know what they are, just go click the link in the description box and you will be right on the video. I have already made a video on them and they are so easy to understand. So yeah. Let's take the input and uh, let's go down. I'm going to leave a line for some clarification. Now let's create a range. So we have used the for loop right here. Sorry. Range. So here we're going to specify a range, which is one. I'm sorry. One comma n comma two. So what this does is if first suppose n is half, one and a half, okay. So it will take all the numbers between one to one and a half, and then it will take all the numbers between one and a half to two. So it will leave a you know specific series of number in the middle. So yeah. That's how it works, and uh, let's continue. Let's give it a colon. Because inside this range, we're going to work with the if and else statements. Now, if let's write the two conditions, we have two, two conditions in it. So here we have used the modulo, which gets the remainder. And the double equal to is to assign a particular value. And So these are the two conditions we have. Let's give it a colon and a continue. If these two, both of them are true, then the computer should print solo learn. Just let me give it caps. Even the uppercase and lowercase letters matter a lot right here. So make sure you don't, uh, you know, just take them for granted. I'm sorry. We're going to start from here and we're going to use the elif right here. Now elif is, uh, you know, in, you know, like in simple words, we can tell both the mix of else statements and if statements. So, yeah. In this, we have only one condition, which is x modulo 3 equal to equal to 0. If only this is true, then what the computer should do is it should print just solo. Okay. It should print Should print solo and uh, next. 
We're going to use another elif right here. Now I've written the second elif statement, which is actually mostly the same, but of course function is different. At last, we're going to use else statement because if any of the conditions are not true, then the computer should do a very different thing, which is it should just print what is x. So yeah, let's run the code. So yeah, we have solved both of the test cases and yeah, let's see. Okay, this all is just printed by the computer. Okay, this is kind of weird, but yeah, because we were told that only this must be print or only this or only this or only this. So out of the four, any one or maybe two were to be printed, but all of them are printed. This was not expected by me. Uh, however, let's just leave that, but we have completed the project. So yeah. That's all for today's video. Bye-bye and meet you next time.